Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma and David. We're in the kitchen. We are testing out an item that you saw in a recent grocery haul of mine, and that is, turn it around, show the beautiful label. It is apple cider vinegar with honey, guys. And we have the lovely David here doing the demonstration for us because I don't have makeup on and I don't care to scare you guys. David does have makeup on, so hey. <laughs> it's all in the blending. It's all in the blending. There you go. I have to have the label showing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still an amateur. <laughs> all right, so we have the original Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And then we have the item that I purchased from Aldi's, which is apple cider vinegar with honey, as I said. And we're going to go ahead and find out if it's worth what? The money? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> is it worth investing two of your carbohydrates in one of these little snorts that you're going to take? Right. So the typical Bragg's organic um, apple cider vinegar, and remember, you want to use the one with the mother. Um, it has zero carbohydrates in it, guys. The benefits of apple cider vinegar are typically to help you reduce your blood sugar, which is always a great thing when you follow a ketogenic way of eating. All right, so, or way of life, whatever you want to call it. And so the apple cider vinegar can, number one, help reduce blood sugar, two, promote weight loss, and number three, what is it? Improve your memory. <laughs> no. Weight loss, cholesterol, and lowering your blood sugar. So those three things. All right. There's no questions about using the original, the organic, plain, out of the bottle, zero carbs, except for the fact that it tastes like crap for a lot of people. They just simply cannot stomach it. So the question is, would you, again, invest two of your carbohydrates by using the other one should it taste any better. All right, so David is going to take a little snort of both. David's family recently took a trip to Alabama and came back with this lovely little glass for me. Roll Tide, everybody. Hello, friends. Are you tired, run down, listless? Are you unpopular? Do you poop out at parties? Well, the answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Thanks, Lucy. <laughs> we love watching I Love Lucy in the morning. Except right now, Hallmark is doing Christmas in July, and we're very sad. We miss this little bottle <laughs> right here. Do you guys remember this episode? If you do, put something in the comment section if you like it. I'm just going to... How does she do it? What is it? Vita? Vita? Vita Mina Veggie Mac. <laughs> All right. Cheers. You never get used to it, guys. When you take it straight, you never Whoa. get used to it at all. That was vinegar. <laughs> that was really, really, woo, strong stuff. Man, and now let's try the vinegar black label. <laughs> so now David's gonna try the one with um, honey. And by, by the way, this container is all organic. <laughs> All right, David. Smell it. Does it smell any different? Mm, no. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Give it a try. I'm scared now because that was really bad. Well, down the hatch. Hey, you know, this stuff's not bad once you get used to it. <laughs> Seriously, is there a taste difference? Honey, you don't need to drink more than that. Goodness gracious. Is there a taste difference? Let's go ahead and compare. Yes, there is a definite taste difference. Really? Yes. Okay, give it to me. Let me check. Get me, get me. All right, I'm going to smell it. It still smells like crap, guys. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's like a sweetened... Vinegar. Yeah. It doesn't burn your throat the same way. Mm -mm. Still. No, it, it's a lot smoother. It's way smoother. Oh, you still get that burning in the gut afterwards, though. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I feel my capillaries opening up. <laughs> I feel like I just took a little snort of Woo! Grandpa's Guys. cough medicine. Goodness gracious. Would you invest two carbs a day? Would you take it away from your food, such as a salad 
or um, something else that has carbohydrates in it, maybe some fruit, I don't know, would you use the apple cider vinegar with honey over the standard and waste, expend, use, contribute, donate two of your carbohydrates? Hmm. <laughs> All right, thinking man. Yes, I would. Would you really? I would really. Wow. It's that big of a difference. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it is, it is enough of a difference. I tell you what I would really do. Yeah. Because you really have to be dedicated to drinking apple cider vinegar. You do. To drink apple cider vinegar. Yes. Because it's not a tasty snack. It's not. Let's face it. It's not. So this is what I would do. I would want to keep both mm -hmm. in the shelf. Mm -hmm. And I would probably do this one, except on days when I just didn't feel like I could do it. And then I would take a little snort of that. That's a great idea, mister. Well, Every even a broken week. clock gets to be right twice a day. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I actually think it was pretty good. Uh, as far as being a female, I don't have as many carbs to, um, to quote, give up. But, uh, and I'm getting ready to consider doing something kind of keto carnivore-ish where I am really significantly reducing my carbs, trying to get towards zero carb, just to see if I can lose some of this weight that I put on when my thyroid decided to go wackadoo. Um, but I would probably say, yeah, I would still consider investing two carbs. It is significantly different. I can well, well, what was it on your taste test meter? Um, palatable. Yeah, and I used to actually, back in the day when I did HCG, I actually would take tea, my favorite gold peak diet tea, mm -hmm. and add, um, add apple cider vinegar. Do you remember that when you used to yes, go to work? Yes, I do. Yeah, I would take the tea, I would take some apple cider vinegar and a little bit of what? Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. And I would mix it. Sometimes I would send David off because we actually developed a taste for it. But that was with the pure apple cider vinegar. Um, so I imagine with the apple cider vinegar with honey, it would even be more delicious. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. So if you do dilute it that way in a drink that you prefer, it really does make it easier to drink. Um, so what we'll do is maybe tomorrow morning when we wake up, we will test blood sugars for David and then test it after tasting this. And make Are you going to do that thing where it hurts my finger? I am going to do that thing to your finger. So we'll test his blood sugars and see if the organic honey affects his blood sugars. All right, guys. So then you'll have um, kind of a, a gauge as to whether you want to test this out again. This product was purchased at Aldi's. All right, guys. So David, two thumbs up for the apple cider vinegar. I, in summer, for all you men out there, who don't like foofy mixed drinks, vinegar is still the way to go. But if you're going to like something floofy, this is what you need to drink. <laughs> floofy? Floofy. <laughs> is that a new word? <laughs> I don't think it is. Floofy? floofy? <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onido. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.